Hi, Parrot. Ah. Who's the Parrot? You guys the Parrots? How's Kramer? Pretty good. Yeah. Tony over there. What else we got? Mickey. Mango. <laughs> Mango colors. You're who? Who? What's your name? I'm John. Who are you? What's your name, pirate? You parrot. And we got a big truck saying the sheriff. I think he gives rides. At least he's got a ladder to get up there because it's pretty high. Wow, that is way up there. The whole area. People turn in butter. Somebody had a double shot. All right, 
Gun set. Number one, gun. Prepare to fire. the Canadian military just changed their berets after a hundred years of disgrace back to As you know, during the war, the artillery left a gun behind and the Canadian medics had to actually come and save the gun from World War I. So at that time, they decided to disgrace the artillery and change the beret to an army green and lose the blue. And we just got that back here in Canada last year for the artillery to be able to wear the royal blue, the traditional artillery color. Uh, that's the same color as those coats. What's the size of the gun? Do you know? Fired them, 
we did a show in Shelbert or in Pearl at the Highland Games and we had the Jacobites on the other side and when he fired his musket that was the signal and the soldiers warmed up. We loaded the guns, the cannon, and as they fired they would advance a couple of feet until they got up beside the cannon. So the rear cannon never, never go to the front. So what happens is when they get to a certain point, you guys advance, but you don't come past this. This is your safety no-go zone. You can do what you want until you get there. But when you get there, you don't cross it. So they were coming and they were doing the the Walt William Wallace thing, and all this stuff. And when he fired the musket, the soldiers returned fire and one of them fell. So they kept coming at us. And the soldiers advanced. And the last shot on the video is now the soldiers are lined up and we fire the cannon and the muskets at the same time. There's a big bang and a cloud of smoke. And when it clears, the video shows they're all on the ground except one that's trying to get up. And he's kind of still on his knees when he's trying to get up, right? So the guys then fix their bayonets, locked up. Beside you, so if you're laying on the ground here, from your perspective on that side, it looks like we're sticking it in you, right? So when you watch movies like Patriot, which is July 4th, the Americans like to play it because we win. For us, we call it the American Revolution, but for them, it's the war of independence. What are you talking about? So you're revolting against the king, that's the revolution. So it's the American Revolution, they're revolting. And he said, King sends the troops. Now, how many have been to the international tattoo where they've seen the gun run? Where they take, fire the gun, take them apart, go across the zip line, put it together, fire it, bring it back, across the zip line, and put it together on fire it. Whoever does that the first wins, East Coast or West Coast, maybe. What that is, is drill. She's an upper shift gun, brass. She's sitting in a Navy carriage. You've all seen what they look like on board the ship. Scan of the harbor. Alright, so we're in the mock-up village, going to take a look at everything from 1780 era is what they're doing. So I'll show you what one of their tents used to look like. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to go in, I'm not sure. But, there you go. Standard issue military wool blanket, check. Yeah, it's pretty cozy. I bet you when it rains, it's pretty wet in here. Animal hide for the flooring. Yeah, pretty good mock-up. I don't know how good these would be on waterproofing. I think this is just a mock-up of it. It's made out of canvas. Of course, they would have put deer hide over it. Life in 1780.